we have six points over here. First two are A and A dash. Then we have B and B dash. And then we have S and S dash. S and S dash are the two foci of this ellipse. So S and S dash are the two foci of this ellipse. Now we see that A and A dash. These are two endpoints of the major axis. Similarly, B and B dash are the endpoints of the major axis. In the case of parabola, we had a thing called vertex. Okay, this was the vertex. Now see, what everybody gets a general uh, understanding about the ellipse is that an ellipse has four vertices. Okay, simply we can see that this is also vertex, this is also vertex, this is also vertex and this is also vertex. Why are these four vertices? Because at there, the nature of the curve is changing. This curve was going like this and this curve is going like this right now. Okay. So this way we can we get a general understanding that these four are the vertices. But they are not. B and B dash are not the vertices. Okay. A and A dash are the only vertices of the ellipse. So the two vertices in case of an ellipse are A and A dash and B and B R dash are not the vertices. They are just the end points of which axis? This is major or minor? This is the minor axis. The smaller one will be the minor axis. So these are just the end points of the minor axis. So if someone tells you that uh, uh, find all the vertices of this ellipse. So you are just going to write these two vertices. Not all the four vertices. Not all the four points. You just have to write down the end points of the major axis. Not the end points of the minor axis. So that's an important thing you need to remember right now. Similarly, we'll have a concept of chord. As we studied in the case of parabola, we have a similar concept of chord. And we'll have two types of special chords. The first special chord will be the focal chord. And the second will be the double ordinate. And as we discussed in case of parabola, a focal chord which is also the double ordinate or we can say that a double ordinate through focus is called the latest rectum. Latest rectum. I will always write this latest rectum as LR. So get a basic understanding what is this LR. This is latest rectum. Okay. So now I have to find the value of this, the length of this latest rectum. How can we find that? So let's see. The general equation of this ellipse we have derived and that came out to be x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. So this is the general equation of the ellipse. Now I have to find these two endpoints of the latest rectum. How can I find these two endpoints of the latest rectum? I know that this is a double ordinate or I can say that this is perpendicular to the x axis or the axis of the ellipse, major axis of the ellipse. Therefore, if this is perpendicular, we can say that these two points have the abscissa same as the abscissa of this one. So the abscissa of these two points will be same which is AE comma dash and this will also be AE comma dash. I know the abscissa of these two points. I want to find the ordinate of these two points. right? If I find the ordinate of these two points, I can easily find out this distance by just subtracting these two ordinates. right? So if these two points lie on the ellipse, they must satisfy the ellipse. I know the x coordinate of the points lying on the ellipse. They are equal to x is equal to a. I want to find the y coordinates. Let's find out how will we do that. a square e square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equal to 1. Right. This becomes y square upon b square is equal to 1 minus e square. Right. So y square comes out to be b square into 1 minus e square. What is the value of eccentricity? We have learned that E is equal to 1 minus B square upon E square under root. So we can say that E square is equal to this. So 1 minus E square comes out to be B square upon A square. So we will substitute this value over here. So this will become B to the power 4 upon A square. So Y square is equal to B to the power 4 upon A square. So I get the square of the co coordinates of this, these two points y coordinates. So y comes out to be plus minus b square upon a. 
So we can say that the two points are plus b square upon a and the second point is minus b square upon a. So can you tell me what is the length? This length will come out to be 2 times b square upon a. Okay, Because we know this distance is b square upon a. Similarly this one is b square upon a. Therefore the length of the latest rectum, the length of latest rectum in case of this ellipse comes out to be 2 times b square upon a. This is a very important concept. So just remember this one. So length of the latest rectum in this case.